Hello, and welcome to Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian. Um, Selena is wandering around somewhere, so unfortunately she's not joining us at the moment. Um, hello, so welcome to anybody who's new. Welcome back to all you guys who have been here before. Um, this is my floss tube, so been stitching, cat updates. So, oh, Selena's my cat for anybody who might be new. Um, cat updates, stitching updates, life updates, that sort of good stuff, you know, haul, stitchy kindness, all the good stuff. So, in fact, I do have some stitchy kindness this week, and I also have a start, I know, what? And, of course, we also have to, say, uh, for you guys who were here last week, you know what this is, and you know what that means, so we will obviously take care of that more towards the end. Uh, hopefully, I hope you guys watch through, I, I would greatly appreciate it, um, uh, as I, as I always say, you know, uh, um, please like and comment, I, I love comments, I read every comment, um, I respond to every comment, I always say that every week, um, and subscribe, um, obviously I'm not monetized for this, <laughs> I'm not nearly big enough, um, and so I'm not doing it for money, I'm just doing it because, um, that's the, al the YouTube's algorithm, they like, you know, that's what they like to do to, you know, let more people see me. But anyway, so, um, first off, oh, hey, Selena, you coming to visit? No, she's just coming to sit at my feet. Okay. Hi, cat. Um, so, first off, life updates. Um, not a whole lot has been going on this week. Um, I actually did quite a bit of stitching. I'm pretty proud of myself on that, to be honest with you. Um, and so, um, that's kind of dominated, um, I worked on, uh, I don't have any pictures of it, I'll have to put it up on, um, on Instagram, which I, I'm very sorry, I'm very, very slack about using, I need to be better at that, but, um, I finished my Star Wars ad at that I've had for a while, uh, there's two, there was an older ad at that was bigger and had more pieces, like four times the amount of pieces, and was a lot more expensive, this was the newer one that was smaller with less pieces, but still, um, I had to totally, I got about three, there's like, so they, they separate the bags out, so you're not, you know, I have, you know, thousands of Lego pieces, <laughs> excuse me, um, out at once, and there were eight bags in this one, plus they had little mini bags in the bags, but eight main bags, and I got into, I think it was bag three, like, to the end of bag three, and, um, something was wrong and so I had to break it all the way down and bring it back and put it back uh, second time was a charm I did get it I did get it going um, I have been calling it project leggy boy because those adats are pretty leggy um, and so project leggy boy is done uh, so I'll have to show some pictures of that it's laying down right now so um, certain felines won't knock it over um, oh, speaking of certain felines, somebody made a break for it today, uh, because obviously I need to check my mail, and, um, she just squirt right out from between my legs and went into the bushes, as usual. Um, I was able to chase her back in, but, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a baby gate or something. This cat is, I don't know, I love her to death. I love her to death, but something is gonna happen to her. I'm really worried that, you know, she's either gonna hurt herself or really try to run off or, you know, something's going to attack her, so, you know, I need to figure something out. What are you doing? And now she's randomly pawing at the floor. Anyways, my cat. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty about it, pretty much it for this week. Um, there were a good amount of, of uh, comments this week. I'll try to get through them fairly quick. Um, because nine people entered. Um, oh, hey. You can come visit? Yeah, hold on. All right, all right, hold on. I'll, I'll move the bees. There you go. Are you happy now? Yeah, there you go. There's my, there's my little escape artist. I know, I know. Yeah, just using it as a through road, apparently. So, there you go. Anyways. So, oh, this is B-Score New and B my two little mascots. Um, 
but yeah, so I'll, I'll try to get through these kind of quick. Um, this is probably going to be a bit of a longer um, video just because I have the um, the giveaway at the end and um, I sewed a lot and um, got a few comments. So um, maybe grab a tea, which reminds me. So this week's tea. Oh no, where'd I put the? Oh no, where'd I put the tea bag? Oh, uh, well, I thought I had brought the tea bag over, but I do not see it. So, um, this is the only tea that I got from Jungle Gems this this year. Um, so, when I went to StitchCon, it's right outside of Cincinnati, there's a place called Jungle Gems, which is a, um, international store on steroids. And they have big old sections for, like, each country, well, a bunch of countries, um, and of course, they have a nice English section. And um, last year, I went a little ham on getting um, uh, tea. So um, this year, I just got one box. It was Ahmed, of course. And this is Apricot Sunrise. There we go. Um, I don't. I do not have a clue as to where I put that bag. Ah, uh, well, that's not that important, I suppose. Anyway, so let me give this a try. I have not tried this yet. I just open it up today, even though I've been home for, I don't know, a month and a half, two months almost. Okay. It's more subtle. It's not, um, some of the Ahmed teas are pretty strong, like with the, um, with the fruity flavor. This one's a bit more subtle, though. Oh, hi again. All right, do I have to move these permanently? I will. There. Happy now? Uh... It's good, but yeah, it's a lot more subtle flavor-wise, interestingly enough. Oh, there you go. Hey. Hi. Are you talking about Brett? <laughs> yeah, my cat's weird. Are you going to stay on the... She, uh, don't sniff my tea, please. My cat has a weird thing about tea. She really, really likes it, and I don't know why. You going to sit here on the, on the end for me? There you go. Good girl. Yeah, she's, um, since having this new couch, she has enjoyed, oh, there you go, that's a decent picture of her, my little void cat. Um, she has enjoyed sitting on the end of the, uh, couch, because these couch, these arms are much wider than the old ones were. She couldn't sit on the old ones, and so she is definitely taking advantage of, um, being able to sit on these new ones. The only problem is I'm left-handed, so when I'm moving my mouse, you know, I'm smacking a cat. But hey, what can you do? Um, alright. So let's go ahead and get to the comments. I have been distracted by my cat long enough. Um, alright, so. Ah, my Stitch Daddy, D, uh, from D's 20 Stitches. If you're not watching them, go watch them. They are amazing. Uh, I th think they... I don't think they put anything up in a little bit, but they're, they're usually about once a month or so. <clears throat> Sometimes more often than that. Um, but they're very, very interesting, and, and I love the stuff that they, they sew. So, uh, you can always come, come back up to Vancouver to bug me. <laughs> uh, a two-hour two visit is definitely not enough. I was just in the neck of your woods net last week. Um, I did a road trip from Gatlinburg to Charlotte and Asheville. South Carolina is so close yet so far away. Yeah, oh God, if I had, man, if I had known that you were, you were up there. Asheville's about, well, both Asheville and Charlotte are about 90 minutes away from me. Um, you know, you've got northwest, northeast, well, Asheville's northeast, Charlotte's northwest. But anyway, they're not that far away. I definitely would have come and visited you and annoyed you <clears throat> and all that good stuff. Um, honestly, I would really, really highly recommend coming back in the fall um, when you can just drive through the Smokies and it just looks like the forest is on fire with all the, all the leaves. It's beautiful. Um, honestly, I mean, if, hey, you got a place to stay. I'm just saying, you know, if you want to come down here and visit, you know, we got a, we got an extra room. So, um, I take you to my LNS. Um, there's a good Mexican restaurant that's just down the road from it. So, I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, definitely hit me up if you come down this way, though. Um, 
Also, uh, yeah, I would love to visit Vancouver. The main problem, of course, is that, um, well, money, obviously, and fear of flying. Um, I did visit Vancouver once, so my, my brother and I were going, I think I've talked about this before, uh, my brother and I took a summer, we drove around the U.S., uh, we stayed mostly at hostels to, you know, to save money, um, and so we stayed at a hostel in Seattle, and we took a trip up from Seattle to Vancouver for just a few hours, and I loved it, we just essentially walked around downtown. Uh, visited some shops and such, and it was really, really cool, but we did get to stay for long, and I would love to go back. I mean, there's a lot of really cool stuff in Vancouver. Um, but, I mean, we'll see if that ever happens. If it does, then you know I'm going to annoy your butt. So, uh, but yeah, so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Jenny. Appreciate it. Uh, Jennifer and Terry, the Screen Door Stitchers, um, I believe those are the ones, the company that I have the free pattern from that, uh, well, uh, that, obviously a pattern that I was given that I do need to start. Uh, they said, happy 100. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Cammie Tweedy says, uh, congratulations on your 100th episode. Thank you. Uh, I grew up in Illinois, currently an Indiana resident, and both states don't like the Wisconsin cheeseheads. No clue why. I love going to Wisconsin. Um, I, re I have, actually I have friends both in Illinois and Indiana. Um, I've never heard of an issue where they've had any problems with um, people from Wisconsin, but I need I'm gonna ask them about that because I'm I'm kind of curious as to what's going on with that. Uh, I do have another a good friend of mine who was born and raised in Wisconsin, though he lives in Florida now. Um, so I don't know. I'm not sure if he's that much of a cheesehead though. So. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I haven't been to Wisconsin yet. I guess, oh, no. All right, come on. There you go, cat. I, so I guess kind of going to Wisconsin would be sort of a pilgrimage for me, I guess. Since I'm a cheesehead, but. Or at least I want to be cheesehead. So, uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I mean, I, I don't, I don't have any particular reason to go to Wisconsin other than I want to try the cheese. So, I'm probably going to have to come up with a better reason for that than that so we'll see one day uh x x stitch dogs and tea uh this was great i may have to give peach cats a try honestly if you can i've never seen them around here I, I don't i can't find them locally at least not yet um but if you can find them i would highly recommend trying them because they're really really good assuming you like peach obviously of course uh i, I tasted the key lime a few years ago i wasn't a fan but i do love peach um i'm not usually a key lime fan but I'd be willing to give them a try they would probably be good um assuming that they're not too tart that's that's the only thing I, I don't mind lemon or lime things but I don't I'm not a huge fan of tartness so it just depends you know on how they taste but I'd give them a try at least uh let's see oh I'm a cheese head but I live with picky eaters so I rarely try unusual cheeses um, I mean, I only live with my husband and my cat, and my husband is definitely not a uh, picky eater, but I don't usually share my cheese with him. Maybe like a bite or two. Um, I'm usually a little protective of my cheeses, so that's that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to try some cheeses, though. Um, I'll have to go back and watch a tasting video. I hope you like it. It was, it was very fun to do. Uh, I... I had a good time with that. Um, oh, you're not talking too fast. Thank you. I appreciate that. It, I think maybe part of the issue is that I don't want to say we tend to talk slow in the South because we don't, but we don't tend to talk super fast. And so maybe to me it sounds fast because, um, you know, surrounded by other people. Oh, sorry. Ah, that was a chip. Um, so maybe, you know, compared to the people I hear around me, it sounds fast, but it's not. So, I don't know. That's the best thing I could think of. Um, uh, seems like Selena likes the new couch. Um, yeah, as you saw, she, she does like to tend to sit over here sometimes. Sometimes she sits up here, but not for a long period. She won't sleep up here. Um, where she'll sleep, unfortunately, is right where I am right now. She likes to sleep in my seat as, as you can tell 
um, you know, I'm putting my arm down on the, um, on the top of the arm right now. So these are, the arms are pretty tall on the side of these and I'm pretty short. So, um, and, and obviously I have my mouse over here on the, on the, um, on the arm so I could, you know, move around. So, um, it, um, I have to like lift my arm and obviously after hours of that it gets kind of tiring. So I have to sit on a bunch of pillows or blankets. And I think she enjoys the fact that, you know, there's a bunch of pillows and blankets here and, um, uh, uh, takes advantage of it when I'm not sitting here. So, um, yeah, so that, that has unfortunately caused some consternation, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, either I'll give her a few treats, uh, if I shake the treat bag, she'll know, you know, she'll come running, or, or I'll just kind of keep lifting the blanket until she gets annoyed and moves. So one of the two. Uh, alright, so Terry Hall says, happy 100th episode. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Uh, Mo Henry says, uh, just purchased an ink circles, love them all. Um... Thank you. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have really awesome patterns. Uh, I have, um, I've done one or two, and I have at least a couple more that I've either just started or haven't started yet. So I've got, I've got two or three at least that I haven't started. Uh, I know I have turtles all the way down. I also have um, um, the queen that. Queen that never was, I believe it was, which is fairly small. It wouldn't even take all that long to to sew, so I probably need to, you know, think about doing something with that. So yeah, um, but yeah, if you like symmetrical designs, it's definitely they're definitely a, a good um, um, a good company. Ugh, sorry, my nose is going crazy. Let's see, so um, I would love the couch. Not a cheese head for football, but I love cheese. Um. Yeah, so, yeah, like, um, so for people who have never tried a, uh, Ink Circles, I would suggest the Queen That Never Was. There is a, one color that is, um, in metallics, but you don't have to do it in metallics if you've never done metallics before. Um, I would suggest not using the DMC, but using the, um, oh, I can't think of the company's name the other one that's really well known for metallics. Uh, but if you use that, it's really not bad to stitch with. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I do watch football. I watch college football. Um, not the NFL quite as much. So, uh, but yeah, I obviously I love cheese. So, thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know what? I think I actually... I actually went to two different people on that one. I, I do apologize. Sorry, this is more comments than I'm used to. So that was both Mo Henry and I guess it's Jackie AS. Um, so yeah, that was both of you guys' comments. I apologize for that. I've actually never done that before. Um, but yeah, I have enough comments that um, I'm kind of getting mixed up there. I apologize. Uh, Roxanne Green says, I'm not too sad because I'm lactose intolerant. I'm sorry about that. That that would suck. If honestly, if if I developed a lactose intolerance, I would, I'd be pretty bummed. I'd be pretty bummed. That would suck. Um. So uh, congratulations on the hundredth episode. Thank you. I love watching you. Thank you again. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, great videos always. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, talking fast doesn't bother me because uh, us newfies talk fast and we learn to listen faster. Um. You know, there's like several people I know from Newfoundland, um, and in fact, there's a Stitcher, um, was it Two Boys and an NL Girl, I believe? She's, she's really sweet. She's definitely worth watching. Um, and to me, she talks kind of fast, um, but I can under, but not fast enough that I can't understand her, so it's, it's fine, um. So yeah, so yeah, I, I do know a few new uh, know a few new feeds. I guess you guys are just too friendly up there, so that's why I keep uh I keep finding you guys as friends. <laughs> um, yep. Let's see. Karen Kirk says hilarious watching you try the violet crumble. I said a link to making the honeycomb. Um, oh god, I'm very sorry. It's uh, 
I swear, like, every time I start the video, that's when my, that's when something just sets me off with, uh, um, with, with my, uh, sinuses. But, um, yeah, so, the Violet Crumble, so this is something that I had tried in my, um, my tasting video. So, it's, it's from Australia. I found it. Australia, not England. There was a whole big thing about that. <laughs> but it's a very strange, it's, it's not bad. It's a strange texture, but not a bad texture. I, I don't know how else to explain it other than if, if foam tasted good? I, I don't know. It's, it, it's something you just have to try. I will try to remember to put that link in here, but I can't promise I will, um, that, that she sent me. Because uh, I really don't want to try it. I, I'm all about, since uh, I love Elton Brown, so I love all the, um, you know, food as science sort of things. And, of course, my husband does as well. So I definitely want to try making that um, that crumble at home. So we will try it. Because it's not that much you need. I think it was like, was it honey and... Uh, what was it? Honey and sugar and... I don't remember. Anyway, it was, it was very, very simple. Uh, it was only like maybe four or five ingredients. Oh, some baking soda, I think, is what makes it. Because it's got... Um, the reason I say foam is because it poofs up and it has air pockets in it. So that's what gives it its very unusual texture. Um, but yeah, so I, I definitely want to give that a try. Um, Debbie Sisk says, congrats on 100 Flaps Tubes. Thank you. Uh, like the new couch and Miss Princess's new sitting spot. Yeah, she's she's liking it so far, which is nice. I'm, I'm glad she's gotten used to it. Uh, glad it's better on your back. Yes, absolutely. Even though I still have to sit on pillows, it's not because the bottom is coming out. It's just because that um, I'm short and the arms are high, so... Uh, let's see, making Chris great progress on your whips. Thank you. Yeah, I've been, been working hard on them. Uh, how's the Disney sound going? That's, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. It's still kind of in timeout, and I, uh, I'm, I, I hate that. Um, I really need to do something with it. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, I really need to do something with it. I, I, I don't know what to do, but it's just sitting there, and... I'm still getting, you know, still getting all the emails every, I don't know, once or twice a week of the new stuff, so. Or however often I get them. So, um, yeah, it's, that's not, I, I'm not proud of myself on that one. Um, my best friend since preschool has a brother that lives in Wisconsin. He's a total cheesehead. Yeah, like I said, one of these days I want to visit uh, Wisconsin, so, um. Uh, Oh, and then also enjoy the quick trip to Florida. So, yeah, um, for anybody who might be new, I'm going to take a super quick trip to Florida. I'm going to fly down. I'm going to fly down. I'm going to drive down on Thursday. No, Friday. I'm driving down on Friday. I'm seeing a soccer game on Saturday, and I'm flying back Sunday morning. So, it is a super fast trip. Um... So, I, I don't expect to get a whole lot of sleep that weekend, but... Oh, and obviously, you know, that means that weekend I won't do a video unless I do it on Sunday, which is possible. So, we'll see on that. Uh, it might either be done late Sunday, um, or I might just wait for the next week. We'll just kind of see how the week goes. Um, yeah, so Deb Hargrave says, Selena's really pretty. Um, thank you. I, I really wish there videos and pictures really don't do her justice as to how soft and how floofy she really is. Um, you know, I, I wish I could just show you guys and let you guys pet her and, you know, see like how soft and how fluffy she really is. But, um, uh, I'm the servant to five cats. Not sure how that happened. Um, does that count? I think that counts you as a, um, crazy cat lady. Just saying. But hey, no, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, love the ink circles and bits and bobs. Very generous. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, uh, definitely a, 
Oh, I'm definitely Cheesehead, too. Congrats on 100 episodes. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Barbara Dragonflies. Okay, that's the bottom there. Good. Uh, Barbara Dragonfly says, I pause. I'm looking over to the side because my second monitor over here, there we go, is where the, where my comments are, so. Um, let's see. So, uh, Barbara Dragonflies. Oh, is this the last one? No, it's not last one. Okay. Next last one. So, Barbara Dragonfly says, I really enjoyed your videos always. Um, I become more of a cheesehead as I get older. Um, on, thank you. Uh, honestly, I've really always been a cheesehead. I've, I've loved cheese my entire life. Um, it's not really something that I developed into. It's just something I've kind of always had. So, you know, that's just me, though. <laughs> um, I've never stitched an ink circle, but they look like they'd be a lot of fun to try. Again, try the queen that was. Um, it's something kind of small, and you don't necessarily have to do the um, metallic part of it. So, um, but it would be a good... Um, I think it'd be a good starter. It's kind of a skull and crossbones, but it's kind of a little bit, a little bit more to the design than that. But it's a cool design. It's very pretty. I believe it's meant to go on like a navy sort of fabric or a darker fabric. But um, I mean, obviously, you can put on whatever you want. Um, I couldn't hear Selena licking. Um, and no, you don't talk too fast. Hope your week is great. Um, yeah, last week she was sitting up behind me and looking very loudly, and I wasn't sure whether it actually came up on the video. I'm really sorry that it doesn't, because I would love for you guys to hear her. No one ever believes me how loud she looks until they come to visit us, and they're like, wow, yes, this is, like, super loud. So, I don't know, maybe, once again, I could get some video and put it up to, um, um, put up to Instagram. I'll try. Uh, it's not like she doesn't, not like she doesn't lick herself often enough that I could just catch her doing it, so. I'll try it, but I can't promise. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to Florida. Um, and thank you very much, appreciate that. And last but certainly not least, uh, Linda Figatola, which is a great last name, by the way. Uh, is that Italian? It sounds Italian. Uh, hi, friend. Hi. <laughs> great seeing you today. Love, Selena. I have four kitties and a ten-year-old black lab. Uh, you might be a crazy cat lady, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but anyway. Um, they're great company. Um, I would love to have a dog, but the couple of times that we've had a dog around Selena, she hasn't really warmed up to them. So, um, right now I'm just going to stick with her. Um, I'm still fighting to get a fish as well. Um, I just need to make a space for the actual, um, because it's like a 10 gallon aquarium. So, uh, you know, I need to find a place where I can actually put it. So yeah, that's kind of a thing right now, but yeah, so I might get a fish soon and she's, she's never, um, she's never had any issues with a fish. She's never tried to mess with them. So I'm, I'm not too worried about Selena with a fish. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, they're a great company. I love Ink Circles. I've done one of her designs. Yeah, again, they're they're awesome. Um, that 121 thread is awesome. <laughs> Cheesehead. <laughs> so, um, the, yeah, the 121 was a variegated blue that uh, DMC did. I don't know if they're still making those variegateds or not. So, it may or may not be something you can still get. But it's a cool color. It's just, it's just different, uh, very light to very dark blue. Or very light to dark medium blue, I should say. So, yeah. Um, Alright, well, those comments did take a little bit. Uh, thank you very, very much for being patient. I appreciate that. Uh, that was longer than I had int intended. Um, but, yeah. So, um, I can actually... Uh, no finishes, no FFOs, but there is a start. And I do apologize that I do not have a picture of it yet. Um... I had to go buy some new uh, ink for my printer, so I have not um, um, I have not printed out the first page. In fact, oh, actually, you know what? I take that back. I can show it to you guys. It will just take just a moment here. I'll have to because um, I am actually doing this on um, Pattern Keeper. There you go, Pattern Keeper. 
I, I'm still, I've had this fire for a while, and I'm still not, um, still kind of learning it. There we go. All right. So, oh no. Is it, can I get a bigger picture of, can I get a bit of picture? Open chart, view PDF, view mock-up. Maybe view mock-up. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Perfect. So this is from Charting Creations, I believe. I'll double check. There you go. And I just can't really get it to not glare, but that is a gigantic Doctor Strange. Now, I am cutting off a little bit from the top. Uh, okay, I shouldn't have done that. I'm cutting off a little bit from the top and a little bit more from the bottom. So it'll go kind of like right to his feet and right to um, where Cloakie is over there. So, okay. But anyway, there you go. So that's a pretty decent picture of what that will eventually be. Um, let's see, can I go back? There we go. So, since I have cut off a bunch of it, that actually puts me at 17%, about, um, almost 17 and a half. But don't let that fool you because it is 150,000 stitches and it will take for GD ever. So, um, close this up again. I said close this up again. There we go. No, no. Okay, anyway, I will worry about my fire later. So, um, <laughs> not, so yeah, this is all the fabric. So yeah. Um, and I thought it was kind of funny to go ahead and put a couple of English, um, needle miters on here because of Ben and Cumberbatch's English, even though he's American. That is my super auspicious start. I know, isn't that amazing? It's about uh, a little over 200, maybe between 200 and 250 stitches. And it's just up right around the corner. So, um, up in the upper left hand corner. So it's not much, but it's not much. Um, but yeah, so that is my somewhat inauspicious start there. So, um, I will probably be working on this at least, um, so for Friday nights, you know, I usually do the Zoom, um, and they, um, a bunch of people have done like a full coverage Friday, and as much as I've had other full coverages, I haven't really been working on them. Uh, but I may start making this a full coverage Friday sort of thing. So we will see. We will see that that might uh, that might start being a thing. All right. So that is the new start there. Um, I will also have to come back to that in a minute because that also um, comes into the stitchy kindness later. But I will show you what else I've been working on first. I really should have done that last, but you know, oh well, it is what it is. This one, I don't think I've done that much on. Uh, I think I may have worked on it a little bit on my LNS on Saturday, but just in case. Um, I, it's not that I don't want to work on it. I do still want to work on it. I've just actually been uh, really working hard on other things. So, this is Modern Folk Embroidery, Move Forward in Love. So, there you go. Um, obviously, the Charting Creations... Let me double check make sure that is... I'm not telling you wrong. Make sure that is Charting Creations. Uh, yes, it is Charting Creations. Um, of course, this is 18 count. Yes, I believe this is 18 count. Um, easy grid that that's on. There you go. So, not that exciting. And this is, I believe, on a misstitch me, if I remember correctly. There we go. Fix that real quick. I believe it's on Bestitch Me. It is, yes, Bestitch Me Winter Solstice. 18 count Ada. And so I have been working on the red in the middle there. Um, I think that's kind of all I've been working on this week. Just a little bit of stitch up. Um, last week I was working on that. I'm working around... Um, and then started on this. This is all full coverage in the middle here. Which means maybe technically I could work on that for the full coverage Friday. Um, like I said, I think I did a little bit of this. But if not, I apologize for showing it to you that 
with no updates. But uh, it would be super, super nice if I could actually finish that by next Pride. By the start of next Pride. That would be really cool. Um, I also still need to work on the, ta the Trans Pride Tapestry, which I'm really kind of ashamed that I'm not working on, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, there we go. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, anyway. I cannot figure out how to work this thing right now. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally got it off. Sorry, that was just bothering me. So, second thing I was working on. Uh, let's do... Since I was talking about strange. Um, it was a very strange week. So, yeah, um, there was, now it has not come out on DVD yet, obviously, um, but there has been a release for, um, some bonus features, and, um, so those were, those were fun to, um, fun to look at for the, for the new, um, Doctor Strange movie. I think there's still, like, one place in town that's playing it, at least they were as of a few days ago, so. But this, do I have the... Yes, there we go. This is White Raven Patterns, Doctor Strange. And no, that's not the pattern, that's just like the mock up. So, there we go, a little Chibi Strange. So, I am switching. I'm trying to make it. I'm switching around a little bit, not much. Not, not colors, but just more of kind of straightening out the design a little bit. But, there you go. I pretty much got his face going. Getting some eyebrows and goatee. Um, and the hair will be the same color, obviously, but with the streaks. So, there you go. So, yeah, I'm making little minor changes to it as I go. But, um, you know, the spirit of the pattern is still there. Um, that's So, when I get to that point where, um, like, the sides of the cloak, that'll be about halfway. So, um, everything in it, obviously, is full coverage, but... Um, the pattern is not. So, that is that one. Um, it is deceptively long, it's, it's taking deceptively longer than I thought it would. Uh, because the pattern's not huge, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's just because it's, it's very full coverage in the parts that, you know, are there. So it's, it's taking longer than I thought it would. But that's okay. All right. Next one is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Now, on July the 4th, what I had intended to do was um, um, watch Hamilton and stitch on Hamilton. Um, I did get to watch Hamilton, but I did not get to stitch on it. But on July the 4th, I did actually get to do some um, um, some patriotic stitching, which, I mean, you know, as, as you know me, I'm not particularly a patriotic stitcher, but... Um, Oh, wait, hold on. I know, I'm sorry. I already ruined it, but... One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Um, the Strange is on a random um, fabric flare. It's colored on one side, so... And this is... I think that's 14 count. This is, I believe, 16 count ale from Pictures Plus. But I got these last two... Five, well, they're not last two, but... These um, two done. I know, I need the blue in the middle. And I am working down the blue. So that is the last of the stars I'm going to need. I think nine and a half stars. Because one of them kind of comes over. I think this one is kind of like a half star or something. Anyway. But um, it's like either nine or ten stars. Something like that. Left. And then I can finally, finally start working on all the states in earnest. But uh, yeah. And yes, I know the irony of having the Hamilton playbill on there. It really should be on my Hamilton. But you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so yeah, that's um, that was a good bit of stitching. Um, so I did that on July the 4th, past midnight into July the 5th. Uh, not watching anything particularly... In, I don't even remember what I was watching in all honesty. It wasn't anything um, particularly um, patriotic. So, uh, alright. So, two more left. Yes, I know. I did a crap load of stitching. Um... Most of this stitching I actually did last night. Um, I haven't touched this one in a little bit. Again, not because I don't want to, just because I've been working on 
a bunch of other things and I'm trying to get the string out of the way here uh, there we go all right so this is we can probably tell from the back already uh long dog not long dong uh stitchers you belong to me so it's all the nice um all the nice egyptian stuff and once again i'm working across this top row this is papyrus by um fabric flare so once again it's one-sided uh, it's got this really pretty papyrus um, pattern i think it's i believe it's 16 not 18 but i'm not 100 sure about that but anyway so what i did was i came all the way down started coming i went back up and now i am coming down and over so that is what i've been working on um so not a ton although this was a lot of this was a lot of you know a lot of stitching not a whole lot of empty space uh, kind of like the bird over here so um it was a lot of work for not a whole lot of gain um you know there are places obviously that have motifs that have more spaces um and this one's a little bit uh, more stitch heavy so um that has been um that's been a little slower going but once again i still i love working on it i'm still enjoying it very very much and so um you know that's it has not been a hardship to work on it at all i'm still enjoying it quite a bit all right so last but absolutely not least um i'm really really proud of the work i put into this i know some of this i did on saturday in my lns um and I know I've, I've worked on it some at home as well. I may have done it that, that Friday as well. Uh, this is A Time for All Seasons, um, number 10, October 31st, by Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, it's not all that big, but that the raven and the pumpkin are all full coverage. So, uh, once again, it is deceptively a lot of stitching. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, there we go. This is, okay, this is Alfred. Uh, 18 Count Alfred by Fortnite Fabrics. I was about to say it might be a, this might be a, um, unknown fabric, but nope, actually, it is known. So, I am really, really proud of this. So, I don't remember where I was last time, but I finished up the bird, so I went up and then through here, through the wing, um, and, uh, then I started on the pumpkin. I went to this side first. Um, you can see I'm on the second color. Um, so it, this, yeah, there we go. It's subtle, but there are two colors here. Um, so I'm going, I'm going this way and then, and then across. So yeah, that's, um, that is close to the bottom. So these stars are like these stars up here. So, um, you got the stars, you know, there's a little bit, a tiny bit more pumpkin. And then really just this bottom design that matches the top pretty much. Um, and then that'll really be it. So once I get, once I have to move the Q-snap for the first time, um, that it'll be almost done. Um, there'll be very little left to, um, to finish. And, uh, this is the one that I have been, um, trying to get on a, working um because i told uh d from these twin stitches i told them that i would send this to them months ago and so i really want to finish before october the 31st and honestly if i keep going like this um yeah um <laughs> i think one person was joking on zoom last week she said um you know you can finish this by next week i told her um maybe if i worked on it and nothing else i probably could have but uh, I didn't intend to work on only that, and obviously I didn't work on only that, so. I did not get it done, but, um, I may end up, um, I may end up taking it with me to, um, to my illness tomorrow. Um, like I've said before, every Saturday, unless, you know, something's happening, um, every Saturday we have a stitch in at our LNS, uh, which thankfully is only about, like, 10 minutes away from me which is great um so you know it's nice that it's so close and so um you know that's a few hours of stitching although you know there's it's kind of like online you know 
there's a lot of chatting and sometimes there's not a whole lot of stitching, but you know, but it's always fun. I don't, I don't mind that it's not the most productive stitching, um, because it's, it's fun to, you know, to sit and hang out and, and talk to the people there and, you know, see what's been going on in their lives and such. So I always enjoy it. Um, all right. So we're getting closer to the end here. Um, not too much to go, just some, um, just one bit of haul, one bit of stitchy kindness, and, um, then we will deal with the bag of mystery, and then that'll be it. Is that a pair of scissors? No, okay, we're good. Just want to make sure there wasn't a pair of scissors sitting around. And Selena is over in a chair, so she, unfortunately, is not going to come visit us, so, um, hopefully you enjoyed her visit earlier. So, I literally just got this today, so the that ended up working out really well. Um, Fortnite Fabrics is the only uh, fabric of the month that I have right now. Actually, it's the only of the month that I have right now. Um, I have suspended my Crazy Annie's Thread, my Sips By, because I need to drink my tea, um, and also my um, um, Picture This Plus. So... Um, you know, I just, I didn't need all of that. So the, the only one I really wanted to keep was Fortnite, which I intend to keep. Uh, this is 18 count Ada, one eighth of a yard. Um, I guess it's good. Frenons? Frenons? I'm not sure. F-R-E-N-O-N-S, or possibly S, but Frenons. Uh, this is a really, really pretty, oh, there we go. Beautifully variegated, uh, gray, uh, there we go. It's focusing a little bit better there. But yeah, that's a beautiful gray. That's going to make, and I love the variegation. And this is for, one thing I have to say is a lot of times um, with um, with Ada, you don't get the really nice variegation that you do on like even weave or linen. And so whatever the, um, whatever Christian and Derek are doing at Fortnite, to give the aid of this variegation, I am very impressed with. Uh, this is just going to be a great Halloween something. I don't know what yet. Um, but yeah, this is just, this is screaming Halloween to me. So, uh, yeah, that's really super cool. Uh, so the other thing is a Stitch Kindness, which was really, really awesome. Um, beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. Anonymous. So, really cute card. I'm not going to, you know, with a nice note on the back. So, um, Debbie Sisk, who uh, won my last giveaway and was who was super patient about how long it took me to send it out. Thank you again. Um, actually sent me a little stitchy kindness, which was so sweet. Um, and I don't know. I, I guess this is her company, uh, Classy Kawaii. I need to try to look them up and see if they have, see if she has a website. Uh, there's the the little tag, which is a great little tag. This is, God, is I love it, sorry. Um, it's definitely a hand embroidered thing, or a machine embroidered, I should say, but check it out. It's got the iVagamoto with Strange behind it. Isn't that that's awesome? So what it is, is it's one of these, um, like the thread holders. So you, if you have like little loose pieces of thread or your, um, or your little orts or whatever, you can just put them in here, and like the static will keep it keep it together. And then you could just just a little snap. There we go. Ta-da! Snap it together, and they'll they should stay in there. So um, I, obviously I have this with my Doctor Strange because that was the intention, um, which is why I one of the reasons one of the many reasons why I started the Doctor Strange because. Um, you know, I have been threatening to start it for the last two or three, um, my last two or three videos, I think, and this was the, the straw that broke the camel's back, so, um, what did she say, um, uh, yeah, I hope you like this large thread, thread bed to go with your upcoming big Dr. Strange project, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, thank you for making me start it, I appreciate it, but, yeah, this, this goes with it, this is amazing, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful, and just all the, now this is, yeah, that is hand embroidered as well. I should say machine embroidered. It's not like a felt piece put in there. And it is all embroidery. So, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That makes it look really nice. You can see all the, all the 
stitches in there. But, oh, my God, that's so amazing. And to go with it, now, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be, uh, like, thread drops or um, zipper pulls. Um, but they are just adorable because she knows, even though my name is Bees and Tees, my, my real true obsession is otters. Well, otters and Doctor Strange. Um, but these are so cute. It's a little, little otter and got little, this one, okay, this one has like little, uh, plant life on the back. And got another otter. This one also has plant life on the back. There you go. And little, little pulls. Oh, this is 2022 on the bottom. Oh, that one's, that one has a little, oh, it's a little teacup. Ah, that one has a little teacup. This one has a couple of beads. It's got some, an otter and a couple fish. There you go. And some shells on the back. I love the shells, too. And then this one is a little otter face with a little shiny, little shiny ball. There we go. Yeah, you can, you can see the shine on it. And, oh, this one actually has an otter on the, uh, oh, it's like the head and the butt. <laughs> so, um, they do have a little clasp at the top. So, I think that they could be used as zipper pulls. But, honestly... I'd be afraid. I, I don't want them to get dirty or or break off or anything. So, um, I'm not. I'm probably end up using them maybe as um, as um. I don't know. I'm not sure. I I, I want to use them, but I want to use them in some way that they're not going to get dirty or damaged. So I'll have to figure it out. If there was, uh, Debbie, if there was something you in particular you had intended to use these for, uh, are they zipper pulls? Are they are they um. Uh, scissor, scissor fobs, um, or were they just decoration in general? Um, I'm going to find something to do with these, something that will, I will, like I said, I will make sure that they stay, um, nice and clean and pristine because they're so adorable. Um, I have to ask where you found, is this, it's not fabric, I don't know, it almost looks like it's, uh, maybe it's cardstock, so maybe this was like, uh, greeting cards or something. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of curious as to where you found the uh, the paperwork for this. Or, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, anyway, I just, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm having trouble trying to articulate what I'm trying to say. But, but yeah, I mean, if you had any particular intentions for these, please tell me, because I'm kind of curious. Um, otherwise, like I said, I'll just find somewhere really pretty to hang them, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I can hang one from, what do you think? Hang it from Beach Gorgon. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. But no, thank you so, so very, very much. Those are just amazing. Uh, I just, I'm blown away by both of those. And just the, the embroidering on that, uh, on the thread bed. Which is a great name, by the way. Um, I love, I love the name thread bed. That's great. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to using that. Um, as you can tell, I haven't stitched much on Doctor Strange yet, so... I haven't really had a chance to use it yet. I've only got a couple colors in there so far. Um, but trust me, it will get used, I promise. Um, alright. So, um, let me go ahead. I'm going to do my of the weeks. And then, I will get to the winner. So, um, first off, uh, I'm trying to keep this under an hour, which it might actually happen. Um, so I always have my stitchy website of the week, my non stitchy website of the week, and then my B fact of the week. And then, um, that's, uh, those are my of the weeks that I like doing. Um, so for my stitchy website of the week, um, this is thanks to somebody on the Zoom on Friday night, uh, Country Magic Stitch, which they used to be on Etsy, um, but now they have their own website. Am I, am I like out of focus I guess, okay there go. I think I'm right anyway so um, they used to be on Etsy but now they have their own website um, they do a lot of they do a lot of good stuff but they do a lot of travel posters so um, you know it's, it'll be full coverage but they're really really pretty they'll be that kind of old style um, very um, very not, not bright colors but very bold colors um and they have them for some um, some natural some natural places like you know Yellowstone and, and Arches, uh, but they also have some nerdy ones like they have one for like um, 
uh, Naboo or Tatooine and that sort of thing. So, um, and they have other stuff too, other than just the travel posters, but they're definitely worth looking at. Um, one of the people on Zoom is doing, was it Endor? It might have been Endor uh, that they were doing. So, yeah, it's kind of all about the Star Wars this week, apparently, too. But, um, but yeah, so they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, I'm going to grab one of them eventually. Um, it's just to have, I'm going to wait a little bit just because I need to finish some stuff first. I don't really need another full coverage right now, but I will definitely grab some in the future. Um, for the non stitchy website of the week, um, I will preface this one by saying, please take this website with a big grain of salt and a good sense of humor. Um, you know, if you're very sensitive about, about stuff, maybe it's not the best place to visit. Um, it's called judgmental maps and there's not one for every city. So what it'll do is people will, um, take a part of like a city, like, um, I think for, I think for South Carolina, the only one they had was Columbia. And what they'll do is they'll take a map of Columbia and they'll, like, they'll put, like, um, um, you know, like, rich section. I, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. It, it, it's, like, it, it's kind of, it's really, I don't know. You just kind of have to see it. Uh, it's, I, I don't know how to explain it without possibly making it sound really bad. Um, and it's, they're just done for fun. So, um, you know, most of the bigger cities have them and, you know, um, it's just, you know, maps that people, um, the things that people submit to judgmental maps. So it's worth checking out. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, all right. And then the B fact is, uh, bees have a heightened sense of smell. Uh, in total, bees have 170 specialized receptors for odor. This allows them to know which types of flowers have pollen and nectar in them. And yes, he still has my, um, my name tag from Sitchcon, so that's what's all there. Anyway, so those are all the facts. And so the last thing, and I'm not really going to show everything, but uh, last week I had a, um, a giveaway, so I had a couple of, um, what all did I have in here? I had a couple of ink circles in here. Um, I had some some fabric. I had a whole bunch of, um, there's a whole bunch of, um, um, Navy Ada and some Fangirl Fibers threads. Uh, this was the, this was the 141 that I was talking about, the, uh, variegated blue. I've got a, um, grab guard. There we go. Like a tie-dye grab guard. And all sorts of other good stuff. And like I said, I'm gonna also... I have a couple other patterns, and I'm probably going to throw some other stuff in there as well. So, um, as I said before, there were nine people that entered, and so what I did was, um, I just told Siri to pick a number between one and nine, and it picked number nine, or she picked number nine, I guess, and that is, wait, drum roll, I don't know if you guys can even hear the drum roll, Linda Ficatola! Which is actually a really cool last name, again. Um, so you actually are the winner. Um, I have an email at the bottom here. Um, it's that Gmail address. So if you could, please, uh, go ahead and just um, give me your address. And I will send this off. Um, I will admit that I'm really bad about sending them off quickly. So it may not be right away, but you will get it, I promise. I just ask Debbie. She had to wait for a little bit, but she did get her package. So, um, so yeah. So, Linda, get in touch with me. Um, and, yeah, that's, um, I think that is about it. Um, I am, let me go back to my YouTube really quick, because I was at, what number was I at? Come on, studio. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm not that close yet, but I'm getting there, so, um, if I do get to 400, then I will do another giveaway, uh, at 400, so, um, I know there were a couple people that, um, that entered that I did not see that they were, um, 
they didn't look like they were subscribed yet. So, um, if you could, please go ahead and subscribe. I mean, it, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, you know, it's, uh, I appreciate it. it. It helps me out as well. Um, because I do want the people to win to be subscribed. I know that, that Linda is subscribed. Um, and like I said, if, if you want to subscribe and get us up to, uh, up to 400, then I can do this again. So, uh, it will behoove all of us, I suppose. <laughs> But anyway, oh, uh, also I do have a Ko-Fi, uh, coffee, whatever. Um, so if you guys ever want to literally buy me a coffee or, um, just help with shipping or whatever, that's, that's down below as well. No pressure at all. It's, you know, no big deal. Um, just, you know, if, if you want to, it's there. Um, all right, I think that is about it. My tea is almost gone. The cat is asleep on the chair. And it is actually kind of sunny out there, so that's kind of nice for right now. Uh, we have been getting into the southern, um, you know, thunderstorms every afternoon sort of thing. So, and we'll probably get them today. So, uh, it's nice to go ahead and be able to, um, you know, and just a little, it's a little overcast, but um, be able to uh, get some sun in here before it gets a little too crazy this afternoon. Um, alright. I guess that's about it. I did not hit under an hour. Sorry, guys. It's just over an hour. Um, but I will be back next week. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.